So let's say you bought a pack of visual effects on the Unreal Marketplace and you want to learn how to use it. I wanna show you how to do just that. For this example, we're gonna use this M5 VFX Volume 2 Fire and Flames Niagara system from the Unreal Marketplace. I use this all the time in a lot of my creative work. And what you have to do to start is add it to your project. You'll hit this button and add it to whatever project you want. I'm not gonna click it because I already have it in my project here. So I'm just gonna minimize my Unreal Launcher and we can see here that we have the Unreal Engine open and I'm gonna navigate to the folder in which you will find for the pack for your VFX that you bought on the Unreal Marketplace. You'll double click that here and go to the Niagara folder. Now, if you built your own Niagara systems, you can basically skip this step. For this example, we're gonna just use this explosion folder right here and just find any random explosion and drop it into our scene. After it calculates and loads, it's going to give us a little explosion, load up all the textures and it stopped playing. How do we trigger it? Well, we have to go to our sequencer. So you're gonna to go to your main content folder here and make a folder for your sequences. I'm gonna double click mine, make a folder for tutorial or whatever else. And I have this level sequence. Double click that and I have an empty level sequence with nothing in it. I'm gonna take this fire explosion and drop it into my sequencer. Now, for those of you who don't know, this little plus track button is your secret weapon when it comes to working in Unreal because you can add so many different properties of an object in your sequencer. So from here, we'll go to the plus track and go to Niagara component. Now to trigger a Niagara component, we have to add the plus sign again. And when we scroll up, we have a couple different systems. If you have a continuous effect, like a fountain of particles or something, I recommend using the Niagara system lifecycle track. But for this one, we're gonna use an FX system toggle track. So from here, we'll drop that in and we will make a keyframe. So it'll activate at this very moment, which is at frame nine. So right now, nothing's happening. Scrub through. Hey, look, we triggered it. Awesome. Now we could also change the option. We could have trigger instead, or we can deactivate it. So typically what I do is I will make a keyframe at the very beginning and have that set to deactivate because I don't want it on at the very beginning. I want it to happen at this spot. Let's say I want this to be moved forward to like frame 48, just like that. And now when I play my sequence by hitting the space bar, it's not gonna play until it hits that keyframe. Cool, we just learned how to make a keyframe. But what about continuous effects? I'm in this folder here that has a bunch of different fire systems that are all built with Niagara. And I can double click this and we can see here that there's a lot of different things happening, but it's basically just some continuous fire. So I wanna trigger this in my sequencer as well. So I'm gonna close this and drag this fire into my scene. And right now it's playing, but let's say hypothetically, I didn't want it to be on fire at the very beginning. So I'm gonna do the same thing, bring this into my sequencer by bringing the fire in just like that. Go to the plus track, Niagara component, and I'm gonna delete this other one right here. I don't want the previous explosion. For this, I'm gonna go to the FX system lifecycle track. And we can see here at the very end that it added a little block of life cycle that we can move around our timeline based on where our playhead is. We can just move that around and let's say I want the flames to start at frame 24. So I can just move this block right here, move my sequence to the very beginning, hit the space bar and hey look, the fire triggers just like that. Now if I hold control and zoom out and right click on my sequencer, we can move around and move this block in. So I only want the fire to be on for, let's say one second or about 24 frames. We can hit the space bar, fire on, fire off. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to trigger Niagara effects in Unreal Engine 5. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below. Comments, questions, concerns are down there for that as well. I'm sorry we're not going over blueprints, but I use Sequencer most of the time and I hope this helps. I will leave you with the final tip. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.